Medford police want your help getting the area's most wanted fugitives off the streets. Trish is in the news center with a look at this week's worst offenders. Trish. Thanks, Rick. I'm here with Lieutenant Mike Boudreaux from the Medford Police Department. Thanks for being here with us tonight. Um, now, before we show you a, a few suspects who are still wanted, we do have um, a group that's been arrested. Yeah, very good week for arrests. We arrested five folks. Uh, a lot thanks to some tips. We got tips on Crystal Nelson and Shana Campos, and we arrested them. Uh, Terry Viano turned himself in. And then a couple other folks, Amanda Nelson, she was picked up on a shoplift, so she has new charges, and Juan Zamora. He was arrested on additional charges as well. And some of those uh, suspects look a little familiar. Did we just show them last week, some of them? Yeah, these are all folks that we've actually profiled within the last month. Okay. So, again, right, it seems like uh, we started getting tips shortly after profiling them. Okay, perfect. Uh, now let's move on to, uh, we've got three suspects right now to show you that are still wanted. Uh, police believe they're still out there, they're still on the streets, and you guys are still looking for them. Exactly. We uh, let's start off with Sheehan Michael Bohm. He's 27 years old. He is wanted for a parole violation uh, for a weapons offense, and then also a separate warrant for an assault. And this is from a 2009 case in which he uh, stole somebody's identity and, and purchased some guns. And then the assault is another case as well. He's been uh, one of our frequent flyers. Oh, okay. So in and out of the system, though. He really is. Yeah, he just got out of prison. Okay. Moving on to uh, Eric James Nyers. He's 40 years old. He's wanted for a parole violation on a burglary charge, which stems from a case where he burglarized a neighbor's residence who were moving out. And uh, we ultimately did a search warrant on his house and found those items in his house. And he was put on parole, and he's violated his parole. Okay. And then the, the final suspect uh, for now. Yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey uh, Randolph Blackwood. He's okay. 20 years old. He has actually already been to prison. And he also got out, and he's on a parole violation, which stems from a case in which he victimized 22 separate victims in Medford uh, for ID theft, and he was also using meth and heroin at the time. So we think he's probably back at it. Okay, so very important if uh, you've seen any of these suspects, if you have any information on their whereabouts, it is important to call Medford Police because as you've seen, when you call in with tips, uh, it, it works. It makes it real easy for us. All right, and we have some more suspects to show you a little later on in the newscast. Rick.